There comes a point in life where you feel it's time to step up to the plate, when it's time to make a decision. And you know, you just know deep down, no matter how hard or challenging it may be, you know what you must do. You don't always know when that moment will come, but when it does, you must summon all your power and employ all your faith in God to do what you believe is right and what you feel you are being called upon to do. I always believed this time would come because in my heart, I've always wanted to make a difference in people's lives, to be there for people who are in need, just being there for people. It's as simple as that. It's what I saw all my life growing up in my home, and it's what was taught to me from the beginning. This is my experience. This is my education. This is what's in my blood. That's why I became a social worker. That's why I came up with ideas for a school for teenagers who are struggling. The prerequisite to my career experience has not been politicking, deal-making, and back-channeling, but listening to, caring for, and motivating others so that they could reach their highest potential. Some call me crazy for taking this on, and it's certainly an enormous task. Meeting as many voters as possible, knocking on doors, calling residents and hearing everyone's concerns. But in all my years, I've learned three simple lessons from my father. Do your part, never be scared to do what's right, and never give up. The only questions that remain are, why me? Why you? Why us? And why now? We all have to answer those questions. And the answer can't be because of politics, it can't be because of power, it can't be because of self-interest. We must make it about every single individual who deserves for their voice to be heard, for their concerns to be considered, for their pains to be healed, and their burdens to be lightened. I'm asking everyone in this district, come forward, share your voting voice, and join together as we lock arms to show the political establishment that it's about the people. Yes, you matter. It's the people that are being represented, and it will be the people that govern. That's democracy. That's the democratic choice. And that is why I am happy to have given our neighborhood that choice by joining this race. I'm looking forward to having your support and giving you my ear and my heart for as long as I am your elected official. I support Yoni Haiken. He's the right one for the job. He respects all the religion. He loves all the religion. We should elect him as a councilman. Yoni wants to do the right thing, which is why I'm voting for Yoni Haiken. I'm sure he will succeed because he's got all it takes to succeed. I support Yoni Haiken. He has been there for me, and now we should all be there for him. I have known Yoni Haiken for over 15 years. I can relay firsthand the immensely important job that he has done in helping people with struggles. I am Emet Hashem Vodi for Yoni Haiken on November 7th, and I hope you will too. I know Yoni Haiken personally for quite a while. He's one of the nicest, caring, and brilliant people I ever met in my life. To God and to love, he is the guy I would want representing me in city council. I support Yoni. He will be wonderful and I also love him deeply. It's gonna be the best, just great. I'm so proud of Yoni.